Uh, hello, YouTube friends. We've got my Sandite friend here, and we are working on comparing Com and ordering fractions. And ordering fractions. I don't know that we'll get to or the order part, but I at least want to do go over the comparing part and saying which fraction. If you're given two fractions, um, and what do we have? Eleven. You could do 34 oh. over 18. It's a little harder. Let's do this first one. 11 over 21. And two-thirds. And we're going to compare that to two-thirds. And we need to find out which one is the bigger of the two. So the way that you do this is just, just simply cross-multiply. Do the 21 times 2 and do the 11 times 3 and then after you do that, whichever one of those numbers um, is bigger, that's going to be the biggest fraction. Or if they're equal, they'll be equal. So what is 21 times 2? Be what, 42? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. So I'm just going to put just kind of 42 in Princely so I don't forget about it. And, and then, then 3 times 11? 33. Is 33. And I'm just going to put that in parentheses. So... I have a 33 against a 42, 42 being the bigger of the two. So the two thirds is going to be bigger than the 11 over 21. Is that, you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, so let's do another one real quick before the bell rings. Let's do one half and we're gonna compare that to nine over 18. Okay, cross multiply, two times nine is 18, so that I don't have to remember that, I'm gonna put it in parentheses, and 18 times one is 18. So I have an 18 versus an 18. So those two fractions are going to be equal. Okay, yeah. now here's one, uh, you have one that's given two and three eighths, and that's going to compare to a two and eight twenty fours. Two and eight twenty fours. Since we're dealing with both twos, don't worry about that. Just look strictly at the fraction part. Eight times eight is sixty four. Sixty four, and then twenty four times three. If you have to use scratch paper, just go on the scratch paper. Three times four is 12. Three times two, six plus one is seven. So I have a 72 on this side. So, so it's a 72 versus a 64. Two and three eighths is bigger. The two and three eighths is bigger than the two and eight twenty fours. Okay, so, but if one of the whole numbers were three, of course, the one with the three is going to be bigger because the whole number is bigger, right? Mm -hmm. And if you really wanted to mess with this and give yourself a headache, you could turn these into mixed numbers, I guess, and it would uh, work out pretty much the same way too. So um, this was just a quick video just to kind of uh, show this. Um, we need to do a video on um, okay. ordering fractions. And we also probably should do a video on when they play a trick with you where they put the numerator as being bigger than the denominator. As an improper fraction. As an improper fraction versus a mixed number. Of course, you're going to have to change this improper fraction into a mixed number before you do that. But once that part's done, and um, then you compare the same way. And I wish the bell wasn't going to ring, but I do think it's going to, well, there it was. Sandite friends, thank you for viewing this. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, send me an email, uh, however I can help you. And my thanks to my Sandite friend here um, for making this video with me. And I'll see you at school. Got anything to say? Bye. Later.